So I thought this would be a quick little video of the working 3D Chameleon. This is the two color version with two aluminum extruders at the top. So what we've done is we've removed the stock uh, extruder and we've remounted it at the top here. We've added a metal uh, extruder instead of their plastic. We've then inverted that and duplicated that. We have a what we call the Y splitter here. Injection molded, uh, made of polycarbonate, nice, very smooth uh, transition. And then we also have our selector switch. The selector switch is mounted to the stock X axis motor drive. So we just take two screws out, uh, insert two longer screws, and mount that directly to that. That has this switch on the end here. We have the cable coming out from the electronics for the Z, I'm sorry, for the extruder motor and then we have two cables coming out of here going up into the two motors here we then have two tubes coming around and feeding into our Y selector and then down into the hot end uh, everything else is handled through software and uh, it's a very simple matter when the system wants to change color uh, it will simply come over here and touch that button and that will allow it to change which is the active motor on the extruders here and uh, the rest of the magic, again, is all done through software where we actually do sh tape, uh, shaping of the tips. Right now we can see we have uh, the red filament loaded in here. Um, and it will shape the tip, pull it out, and then, in this case, load the yellow filament once it wants to change. So I'll go ahead and keep recording here, and we'll actually watch this for a little bit. And you can see it's doing a little test. So we have the outer purge wall here. This is actually to prevent any strings or anything. You'll notice sometimes there's little strings and stuff that come off of here. Um, we don't want those on the part, so we build the wall around it. We also use that as our purge between the two colors. If uh, you have very, very incompatible colors and you want to have a scenario where you want to make sure there's more of that, you can always add another purge block. And a purge block. This is an example of a purge block. Um, it's uh, pretty sipped out, this one is. This happens to be Simplify 3D. Okay, let's watch the color change here. Right now what it's doing is it's backing out the filament. And you'll see that it's moving it all around. It's doing that intentionally to shape the tip. And then I'll move over here and I'll touch it and switch colors. And there the yellow's loaded. And now it's starting to purge the red um, and replace it with yellow. Now we can see there's red on the outside here, but a couple of laps around this purge part and that'll switch right to yellow. Yeah, we can see there's yellow right there now. One more lap and it should be nice and yellow. And there we can see, we have yellow. Here you can see how the purge gets its characteristic stripes 
I just did the red purging it but now it has yellow already loaded but it needs to build up the wall for the next layers to transition Now this is using Simplify 3D, but this also works with Idea Maker, it works with Prusa Slicer, it works with the regular slicer, or as Tom likes to say, Slick 3R, and it works with Cura. As long as they have the ability to change the tools, to change the colors, we can actually uh, swap the code out so that it uh, goes over and touches the button at the appropriate time. All right, as soon as it does this, let's go ahead and watch one more color transition here. All right, so now we can see the yellow loaded inside there. There's the red loaded. So now with that yellow on top, So I hope that gives you a good understanding of how the 3D Chameleon is going to work on your Creality printer.